Okay, so welcome to the Gravity View Visual Editor. As you can see, there are three tabs here at the top, the multiple entries layout, the single entry layout, and the edit entry layout. And these correspond to the three different uh, pages or layouts that make up a view. So first is the multiple entries layout, and this is where each of your entries will be displayed one after the other. Um, if you're using the table layout, um, each of your fields will be a column in the table, a column heading in the table. If you're using the list layout, each of your entries will be displayed one after the other in a directory style um, layout. Then the single entry page is where you can show additional information about each entry. So you can add a link to the single entry page from the multiple entries page. Users can click through there to see some additional um, information. If your form has a lot of fields, um, this is helpful. You can add the uh, extra fields to the single entry without clogging up your multiple entries layout. And then finally is the edit entry layout. And this allows you to specify uh, what fields are editable from the front end. So you can add a link to the edit entry layout from the multiple entries layout or, or the single entry layout. Okay, so as you can see here, the multiple entries layout is divided into three sections. The top widget section, the entries fields section, and the bottom widget section. So what's the difference between fields and widgets? Well, widgets are tools for navigating your view. So for example, like a search bar or pagination links, those are all widgets whereas fields are the actual information that you want to display in your view. And as a general rule, fields correspond to the fields in your form. So there are a couple of um, exceptions to this, such as the custom content field, which allows you to add custom HTML and shortcodes and merge tags and other custom content into your views. So another thing to note is that widgets aren't specifically related to your form or your entries and you can only add them on the multiple entries layout. The single entry layout and the edit entry layout do not support widget areas. So to add a widget to your view, just click on this uh, button that says add widget. And here you'll see a list of all the available widgets. Depending on the extensions that you have installed, you might see different widgets appearing here. So let's go ahead and add a search bar. And after you've done that, remember you can click on this gear icon here to bring up the settings. And in this case, uh, these are the search bar settings. You can add different search inputs and configure how the search bar should work. All right, so let's scroll down to the bottom, to the bottom widget section, and let's go ahead and add another widget here. This time we'll go for pagination info. All right, and if we scroll up, here is the entries field section, and here is where we can add fields from our form to display information in our view. So we're using the list layout, and as you can see, uh, different there's different sections to add different information. So we've got the listing title, subheading, there's an image block here, other field section, and then there's a footer area too. So let's start by adding a title. We'll add the business name. And the subheading, let's add the business summary. And for the image, we'll go ahead and add the featured image. And then the other field section, let's go ahead and add the business description. And finally, the footer area, let's go ahead and add the business web address. All right, so now let's hop over to the single entry layout. Okay, so as you can see, there's actually a warning message here telling us that no fields link to the single entry layout. So there's no point configuring this layout if the user has no way to get there. So let's head back to the multiple entries layout and let's add a link to the single entry. So let's go ahead and make the listing title a link that takes the user through to the single entry page. So let's click on the gear icon to bring up the field settings. 
and we'll just check this box next to display that says link to single entry. Okay. Now that that's done, let's head back to the single entry layout. And as you can see, that warning message has disappeared. So let's add some fields. Okay, so now that we've finished configuring the multiple entries and the single entry layout, let's update our view. And let's check it out on the front end. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our search bar here at the top. And then we've got all of our entries appearing one after the other. And then finally, we've got our page links, uh, uh, sorry, our pagination um, widget appearing there. So we can click on the um, business name and that will take us through to the single entry page. And here we can view a little bit more information about that entry. All right, so if you're interested in a full uh, video course showing you exactly how to build a really sophisticated business directory using Gravity View, then um, check out the Gravity Guide Getting Started course. It's totally free to enroll and we cover things in a lot more depth than we do here. So check that out. It's in the video description. There's a link to it and it's also linked in the documentation.